This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2011 Ford F-350 Crew Cab Dually. It's a 6.7 liter turbo diesel. It's four wheel drive. It's a Lariat, which is leather. Has 149,136 actual miles. It is a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in the Sacramento area. And it is on a salvage title due to theft, not collision. Please watch the three minute animated video in our ad about this but basically the insurance company's attorneys do not want the insurance company sued by whoever we sell it to so they divorce the truck by giving it a salvage title uh, there's nothing wrong with this truck they, if if this truck that was stolen in maine and driven to california were still in maine they would be able to keep it on a clear title um, the fact that it's four thousand miles away from where it was stolen is the problem um, anyway um we bring it here we do an inspection it looks like this uh, runs and drives as good as it looks great um, repaired minor theft damage to the truck uh, driver door lock due to theft uh, new camera a stolen tailgate cap step stolen new rancho steering strut stolen new bed liner um, recently uh, the our, our guys tell me that recently the front calipers uh, were replaced uh, we did an oil and filter and also we want to point out we have some really expensive amp power steps that fold down um what else D -d 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 -d. driver power mirror does not extend uh we are not going to replace that they want like 600 for them they're not making aftermarkets yet that'll probably be any time now and they'll be like a hundred but just to extend for 700 probably not anyway um these tires what size we have 37 13 50 20. 37 13? 13 50 20s. 13 50 20s. Wow. And there are probably how much money we got in about tires here? $3,000 in tires. Yeah, about two grand in tires. And uh, the previous owner put them on, so he must have liked this truck an awful lot before it was stolen. Um, there's our new Rancho Struts block heater. Ba -ba -ba. I'll walk around. There's a little ding here, a little ding here. It's a really good looking truck, but I'm going to point out the problems, not the uh, great parts, because we want to make sure that everyone knows what they're buying, and it's my job to make sure that the negatives are shown. A little scrape right here. Open the door, step comes down. Close the door, step will go up, right? For some reason, some, the, this thing's missing the inner fender well, the liner. Uh, we have one order that was supposed to be here, but it didn't beat the detail. Since we're about to get rain again, uh, we decided to do the video. It'll have that inner fender liner. Here's your step. A couple little dings down here. One right here. Yeah, I was saying earlier, the purpose of these videos is not to sell the truck, it's to make sure we buy it, get the right person for it. So we will point this stuff out. In the photo gallery, you'll see a little magnifying glass icon. You could drag across any photo and zoom in with it. So cosmetics should never be an issue. Please use that. If, uh, if you want to see something like that, you can zoom right in like your face is up against it. A little touch up there. There's that. Joey's going to open the hood for me. I'm going to show you some paperwork. $149,172 miles. All right. Here's the Kelly Blue Book on the truck for an F-350 Lariat Crew Cab. $149,136 miles. Typical listing price would be $28,900 basically twenty nine thousand. if they saw it and they knew what was in it they wouldn't they would it would be much higher um there's your carfax there's the vin um reported stolen that is being taken off carfax right now i'll show you that in just a second vandalism damage that'd probably be the driver door handle um carfax it's one owner there it is from maine okay And it was reported stolen 11 27 of 18 and i'll show you 
this is all the stuff that we sent into uh, Carfax, so it'll be corrected. Uh, there's the VIN. Uh, Hanover Insurance was the owner of this vehicle. Uh, MSRP at almost 61000 That was probably without the dealer ads. So they probably sold it for seventy back then. Here uh, they assigned that with 149136 Hanover did on January 17th to Wheel Kinetics. Okay. And we took that in today to Arizona Motor Vehicles and got a tile. There's the VIN to Wheel Kinetics. That was today, uh, February 15th, 2019, the same date as the Carfax we just showed you. And so we sent all of this into Carfax. And what it'll say then, it'll just say uh, branded salvage title due to theft. Okay. There's the Ford stamp there. So you know it's the original Fender, new battery on this side. The uh, oil cap is off. Very, very light blow by, not a problem. Extremely light. Um, Ford stamp here. Got your Ford stickers there. New battery on this side also. There we go. Window. Door locks. Seat back, forward, and back. And I don't really think the previous owner had any friends because I don't think anyone ever sat in the passenger front seat or the rear seat ever. <laughs> I mean, this carpet and these seats look brand new in the back and the front. This seat. Look at the seat. Unbelievable. Um, there's a manual there. Headliner looks great. When you come from Maine, you're looking for rust, right? Obviously, this thing spent a lot of time indoors because it looks great. Had a big garage because man, fitting this thing in, I would say it was a wealthy guy. Be able to bring this indoors at night. Look at this back seat, ridiculous. Hi, I, hi, I'm the guy with the coolest truck in the world and no friends, huh? I mean. It's crazy. This car is brand new. There's the wolf on this side. Make sure that the windows are unlocked. Yeah. Pass, that's the driver rear window, passenger rear window, passenger front window, driver front window. Okay, let's see. There's the mirror out and in and down and up. Other side, out and in, up and down. Now, power extending. This one won't power extend, but the other one will. So if you want that one to power extend, you can, which is kind of nice because that's the one that you need. I wouldn't fix them because it's way too inconvenient. Driver door, boy, this great, unbelievable. There's the uh, California VIN the cops put on it. Um, that is the factory VIN, by the way. Um, ba -ba -ba. Seat forward and back up and down forward back we also have a uh, power pedals up and down oh, this truck's cool there's your tilt wheel all right let me get in this big boy huh i am way up here aren't i all right let me get my on. Although I'm pretty sure if I got in a wreck, I'm pretty much going to have to hit a dump truck to lose that wreck. All right, we have uh, navigation over here, radio over here. That's 
steering controls, station change. All that works fine, right? CD player, you got all the trailer stuff here. Let's see, boom. There we go there. Ba -ba -ba. Nav, that's all the nav stuff, media. Radio, menu, pretty cool. All right, let me turn that, that definitely works. Air conditioned and heated seats. Put this up here. There we go. And uh, AC. Make sure we're blowing cold too. The heater was definitely working. And the AC works fine. I can already feel it getting cold. Turn that up a little bit. There we go. All right, let's see what else. Do do heated seats, right? AC seats. I'm gonna put that one on right there. All right, you got tow. See the button light there? Tow on and off. What else we got? We got all these gauges here. Compass. Boom, boom, boom. Go down. Trip. Fuel economy. Truck apps. That's kind of cool. Trailer disconnected settings information so that's all that stuff like that all right uh let's see what else we got going on here uh, but, but let me put it in neutral put it in before low shift in progress pull forward it says yikes that means full forward and there it is for low, that turns traction control off. Now we're in drive. Now we're put it in reverse. Backup camera, right? Here's your backup camera. And then we'll go to neutral. Then we're gonna put it into four high. Then we're in four high. Drive. Reverse, God, it's a nice truck. All right, neutral. There's the parking, the backup camera, by the way. Now we're gonna go to two wheel drive, shift in progress. Boom, traction control on, now we're going. All right, this is a beautiful truck. All right, if you're gonna drive it home, uh, we have to take it to the cops and get what's called a level three inspection. Once we get that, we can get what's called a restored salvage title. We charge $200 to do that, and it's mandatory if you're gonna drive it home. Um, then we have a $250 dock fee and we have taxes. Taxes are whatever your state tax rate is plus our city of 2.7%. So if you come here to Tucson and drive it home, you'll pay your state tax rate plus our city of 2.7, a $250 dock fee, and $200 to restore the title. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're obligated to pay is the agreed upon price and that's it. No tax, no dock fee, nothing, unless you want to check the box to have us restore it before it ships out. Uh, then we'll get the, uh, it'll add $200 to the price and we will get the uh, restored salvage title for you uh, before it ships out. Uh, if you are gonna pay by wire and ship, once you receive full payment, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address, scan it into your online file, uh, sign it off to you, scan that into your online file so you'll be able to see it immediately and then we'll mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in. Um, obviously you'll have the truck shipped to you you already have the title from the mail when the truck shows up just go down to motor vehicles and get plates um, God this thing runs great for the big tires and the lift has a really nice ride uh, normally these things would be all over the place bouncing and whatever but it's tight this is a nice truck someone did a nice job with this one um, what else deposit deposit is $500 once we have a deposit we have a deal until then it will stay for sale Okay. Once we have a deposit, we'll put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelkinetics.com and everyone, including yourself, will know that it's uh, sold. Um, I would say with the eyeball this thing has, the quality of this truck, um, it's going to be really, really, really fast. So if you're into this truck and you're going to spend two hours of your life watching the video, going over the ad that we put together, um, looking at the photo gallery, and hopefully you're zooming in on all the pictures so that you see everything. Um, that uh, if you're gonna put that much time into it, be ready with a deposit, okay? 
Uh, last part of this uh, video, I say this every single video I've done for 10 years. The last two minutes are the same. Not singling this truck out, this truck is awesome. But here's what I say. I say uh, we uh, don't have salesmen, we don't have bottled water with our name on it, we don't have a lounge to kick it in, uh, we don't have video games for you to play, we're not gonna hand you scones and whatever while you're hanging out because you're not gonna be hanging out. Uh, we are not uh, pricing the vehicle to the max so that you can save a little bit more money because the day you own it is the day you own it. And if something breaks, whether it's the second you own it or five years from now, you will be writing the check for the repair of your truck, okay? All this information that we give from the Kelly to the Carfax to the title to the blah, to the blah, to the blah, is so that you can make a good decision. Uh, so that you can take ownership on day one. And you will because we are not writing checks for broken stuff. Now, what I cannot imagine what's gonna break on this truck. It's beautiful, it doesn't need anything. All right, but you never know. Uh, I'm not Nostradamus. I don't know when things are gonna break. Um, if I did, I would never buy anything that breaks, and I do. <laughs> Look at that hole. <laughs> Our streets are a mess. Anyway, um, bottom line is, please make sure that you're uh, ready to go um, with your deposit. I think that's the most important thing on here. There's gonna be people fighting over this thing like crazy, and uh, you know, go through the ad, make sure you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, stay away. Uh, we wanna make sure that everyone is uh, happy with what they buy and everything that you could possibly need to know is in this ad, okay? Uh, between the video and the paperwork and all that stuff, it's a beautiful truck. Well, I think that's about it. Thank you for your time.